Welcome to Ola Talks here, marketing edition here. My name is Ola, and today's topic is how to attract leads in network marketing. I have an email question here. Let's dive into it, shall we? Uh, Hi, Ola. I was coached by my uplines to go after five no's per day. I get it. I'm not supposed to be attached to the outcome. Yes, you're not supposed to be attached to the outcome in business generally, in marketing. Uh, but when you have the nose in your face, it's kind of, you'd agree, it's a little bit kind of hard to not pay attention to the rejection or the feeling of rejection. You see, you can avoid um, feeling like you're rejected, but you can't really avoid the, you can't really avoid the um, consequences of that kind of activity. But anyway, let's keep going here. I'm not supposed to be attached to outcome. Yes, you're not supposed to, but it's hard to not be attached to outcome however that's easier said than done exactly i'm not just saying that without trying it i've pitched people at laundromat uh meetups just to get my five no's per day five no's per day i even got fired from a job because of this yeah that's that sucks right actually i know a person who got fired from a job uh, because they were trying to go after their dreams, you know. Uh, but you don't want to make that easy for them by pitching people at your job place either. So you want to be careful about that. If you if you got started in a business opportunity, you kind of like want to try to see if you can separate the two worlds and uh, definitely want to use your discretion in that. Um, so let's keep going. All I'm going to say about that right now is this. It makes no sense. And I refuse to continue this type of activity again, even if that's the only way to build the business. Are there other ways to attract leads to this thing on the internet? Yes, there are. I hope you picked my question. Yeah, here we go. I picked your question. And uh, thanks. All right, so uh, here a couple of things. I want to give you three steps to attracting leads into your business without stalking family and friends. That's sadly what most people end up doing. Uh, they don't mean to, it's never really anyone's attention, but you find yourself wanting to build a business so bad that you're just stalking people. You stalk them by phone, by text message, email, on social media, you know, and then, you know, it, it continues to feel horrible because you know that, you know inside of your heart of hearts that you're being a nuisance to these people and then they stopped responding to you uh, even if you call them you pick up the phone to call them on something totally entirely different from business talk they still don't pick up because you've become the nuisance it's not a great feeling it's not a good feeling at all because clearly you had a relationship with these people in the, in the first place those relationships were fun those relationships were natural and you guys were fun to be around each other, but now they're running away from you because because you joined a, a business deal and you're trying to get them to join and they're nowhere to be found. Now, on the other side of things, people tell you to get five no's per day. So usually when you run out of talking to your family and friends and the existing circle of influence, you end up going to places like laundromat, like, like this person said, laundromats, meetups, just so you can suit your own needs for completely selfish reasons and that no wonder right little to no wonder why it's not working because again i'm going to give you the first step right now because you're not leading with value okay any business you're building where you're not leading with value and it's all about the money in your pocket you're going to fail okay you're going to fail because the world the universe just doesn't work like that you have to give first does that make sense? You have to learn how to give first. And the first step, uh, coincidentally or somehow, some way, that I'm going to give you is value. What value do you have to bring to the marketplace? So even if you're meeting people at meetups, at uh, Starbucks, at uh, any of these places, do you have any value outside of money? Outside of, hey, you're going to make money, right? Because no one believes you in the first place, right? Chances are they know what kind of lifestyle you live. Chances are they know who you really are. 
or they think at least they think they know you right and chances are they're gonna prejudge you based on what they know about you right so what kind of value that they can resonate with can you bring to the table and that brings me to who can you give value to what part of what sector of the marketplace can you give value to first and after giving value they start seeing you as a leader and that takes me to step two so if you give so much value give enough value into the marketplace a certain sector of the marketplace are going to start seeing you as a leader uh, and you're building a self-brand see people don't join people i mean people join people right people buy from people people buy people people don't buy company names people don't buy logos right even if they buy logo that's because something about that logo has become very personal something about that logo is injecting into an emotional part of your audience right so the best way to connect with people on an emotional standpoint is by connecting with them as a person. So people need to be sold on you as a human being before they decide to join you in their business, before they decide to buy any of your products. I mean, people will buy from you even if you only say, can you help me buy this? Why do you think they send kids to people's doors to say, hey, can you buy candy? Because people can connect with that at an emotional level. At the very minimum, they want to help you. You know, so... If you want to build your business, you want to thrive in your business, you want to come from a standpoint of helping people, you want to come from a standpoint of value, and if you do that enough, automatically step two will be done, which is self-branding. People will know you for what they know you for because you help them first by actually helping them. So the easiest way to do that sometimes is to help people find information or help people aggregate information that's going to enhance their lives or enhance their business. So for example, in network marketing, I would target people that are already searching for a way to make money from home or people that are already in that business but they are struggling. Those are the two types of people I will ever target. Why? Because I can give them value, right? So, for example, somebody that's already searching for a way to make money from home, they're already searching. All I have to do is be present to provide them with that information. And one of the best ways to do that right now, today, in this time and age, is through social media, through platforms like this, like YouTube, Facebook, or podcasts. You give more information about how to start a business, how to avoid making mistakes when starting a business from home, and, you know, the loopholes around, you know, how to make things faster, how to make things, you know, the shortcuts, right? You provide people with information like that, they're going to start seeing you as the leader, as a market leader. So that's number one type of person you want to target. The second type of person you want to target is the person that's already in the business, which, again, 98% are in the business and they are struggling. 98% of people in network marketing are making less than $10 per month chances are you're one of them right and if you can find the find a solution to that problem right people struggle in network marketing for two reasons lack of leads they don't know how to generate leads which is what i'm answering in this video and sometimes not having enough money if you can answer and give people resources information or resources on how to solve those problems you become a market leader so the difference between you and I, chances are I'm doing that. Chances are you're not doing that yet. How would you like to learn how to do that? Bring market to the value. Bring the value to the market. The value is not in, it's not in your eyes. It's in the eyes of the beholder. You need to ask yourself, what are the problems that people are struggling with in network marketing? Or people that are searching for network marketing, that's easy answer. Or you can ask yourself, what is it that I can give to them information wise especially that can make their life a lot more easier if you can be the leader to bring that to the marketplace you become a market leader you become a self brand and people want to work with you people don't even need to know what kind of deal they don't need to know if you're selling vitamins soap or information product or phones or they don't need to know what that is they just want to work with you so you're building a self brand if you do that enough so that becomes step two step three is what I call the funded proposer you know, sometimes, not just sometimes, all the time, it, it's going to take you time and money to kind of build that kind of brand equity, right? So how would you like to make money along the way as you're building your brand equity without people joining your business yet? So how would you like to make money even if people don't join your business? That's something we call self-funded proposers. Sometimes some people call it self-liquidators. Some people call it lead magnets. Some people call it all type of things. It's just another fancy way to say you're making money even before people join your business, right? So if you want to learn all about that, you want me to help you personally, all you have to do is 
email me at ask at it will take me up to five weeks or more to answer your question personally However, if you want to get me quicker, you want to go through allatalks.com slash mastermind. That's the link that you're seeing on the screen right now. That's where you're going to get all my downloadable perks. That's where you're going to get access to a free class, access to a free PDF on exactly how to use self-funded proposal to build a business and make money even if no one joins your business, okay? This whole thing costs over $11,000 to buy them separately. To get them for free, all you have to do is to go through allatalks.com slash mastermind and you'll be able to access everything over there for free. Thank you so much. Hopefully, you've been enlightened and educated on this video. I'll see you on the next one, and peace.